I'm Jim, and this is Jim's Little Boat. Now, this is probably a sucker bet, but I believe that after I do my maintenance, fill the gas tank, and give this engine three hard pulls, I can start it. It's been sitting idle since October. It's now April 4th. Let's see what happens. Did the maintenance on the engine, changed the oil, changed the gear grease, put a new spark plug, but that's not why I think I can probably get this engine to start in three hard pulls. This is 25% of the secret. You guys are all familiar with stable. And I have a three gallon tank here. So we'll measure out an ounce and a little bit more in a three gallon tank. That should do it. So we're gonna stabilize the gasoline. And like I said, I think that's 25% of the reason I can get this engine to start on the third hard pull. I'll show you the rest of the secrets. We're pretty lucky in this town. We have a dealer that features non-ethanol gas and you can buy it in three grades. I'm gonna use premium. Normally I don't fill up this small gas can. I'll buy five or six five gallon cans worth at a time and keep them all winter since I have to run my generator in case the power goes out. But today I thought I'd come down and show you the pump. So we got three gallons of gas. And like I said, I keep about 30 gallons at home between generators in the winter and lawnmowers in the summer. So depending on how much time my wife wants me to spend watching the kids this afternoon, maybe we'll go home and give it three hard pulls, see what we can do. We got some nice fresh gas earlier this morning. Let's pump that ball up and get it in there. All right, we're down to it. I think I can start this engine in three pulls. Now, just to clarify the bet, if I make it and you said I couldn't, you owe me a beer if you're ever in Olympia, Washington. If I don't get it in three, I'll buy you a beer. If you thought I could get it and they do it, well, let's just buy each other a beer. Meet you at Tugboat Annie's. I like Mac and Jack. Let's give it a shot. Okay, here goes. A soft pull to get some gas in there. Another soft pull to get some gas in there. Make sure the ignition's on. Put it in neutral. Put it on start. One. Oh, close. That was two. Oh, we didn't make it in three. Four. Five. Six. Dang. Seven pulls. I owe you a beer. Come collect. I owe you a beer. Come collect. I'll be happy to pay off. Notice we have a hugely good stream of water coming out, so we don't need an impeller this year. Life is good. I stopped it. You want to go be double or nothing on one pull to restart it? That's pretty sweet. So here's the other reason that I thought I could get it. When you're done using the engine for the day, disconnect the gas line and run every bit of gas out of that carburetor. Don't be afraid to dink with the choke as it gets near the end of the cycle. I disconnected the gas line and it's been running for two minutes. Normally when we pull into the dock, I have time to go ahead and furl the mainsail and put the cover on it before the engine runs out of gas. So this will take a while. This takes a lot longer to run out all that gas than you'd ever think. More than four minutes. Sounded like it was getting ready to quit. When you get to the end, work the choke like this so it'll suck up as much gas as possible.
Well, that's it. Seven pulls, never would have guessed. I thought five for sure. I uh, probably should have done four soft pulls since there'd been no gas in it for all that time. Oh well, happy to pay off my bet. I'll let you win double or nothing. See you later. Thanks for watching.